Package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about the X80S. Yes, there is a new model out there, or yeah, the S model, the more like said, the tiny model, but it seems to be this is the X80 Plus edition. There's also the S. No idea, I'll be honest, what are the differences? What I do know, we're having the X80, X90, both are going to make a review about it here on the channel and show you what you're going to get. It's the 8 gigabyte model, and it has the color, the blue and the red. Okay, so let's take a close look inside because I'm curious what we're going to get. How is the quality? How is the software itself? And is this thing even worth your money? Inside the packaging, we're finding the handheld. And yeah, they did it again. They are ripping off the Nintendo Switch or some way. Of course, it doesn't look anything like a Nintendo Switch, but the colors. You know it, the colors. Of course, my favorite, the toilet paper manual. And this is the deluxe version where a very thick paper. It comes in English with some basic explanation how it works, the overview of the system whatsoever okay here having i'm guessing this is the micro usb cable for charging and data transfer crappy headphones nobody gives a shit about or i don't and then we're having the av out cable something that we're going to try because i'm very curious how is this thing and all and is it even good okay let's take a close look at the system so we're having two versions this is the x 18 model that comes with a 4 inch display and the other one is the x 19 with a 5 inch the model itself and the design of the casing i have never seen it before so at the left side we're having the buttons and of course the analog stick and the escape button and the minus for volume control. Sadly it's just a very cheap slider yeah, joystick you can see with a lot of these cheap devices. I'm not a big fan of it. The buttons itself, there is not really a D-pad but they feel quite nice. Besides this one. <laughs> and at the right side we're having an analog stick. We're having four buttons over here. Select start and the plus for the volume control. And again, the, the button itself. I think you cannot pull the top off. No, that is stuck with this one. Sometimes they are almost falling off when looking at it. But this thing hmm, feels quite horrible. Okay, so on the top we're finding the CF card, the input for the micro USB for data transfer and charging, on the switch, the headphone jack for TV out. And of course we're having four very clickish shoulder buttons. But we have them all now. <sighs> like all the RX series. We're going to get the shitty camera. This is really horrible. You need to compare it with the first generation webcams or something like that. This is really horrible. But nevertheless, we're going to get two speakers nowadays. Freaking finally. Because in the other models like the X16, we're always going to get one speaker. So the display itself is just an old school LCD. With a very low resolution. You can already see when... Recording from this angle, the view angle is just pretty horrible. And this is what we're going to get with most of these cheap devices. So the X18 has a smaller display than the other version, the X19. I both did a review about, but nevertheless, yeah, the menu itself has the same issue like the previous one. It always comes in the Asian language. But what I do know that the older models have some struggles with the very slow speed of the menu. This thing is a little bit better. Let's see if we can change the language out. You can change it over here. Very easy. But nevertheless, now okay, we're having the English version. But let's talk about the menu, what you're going to get in general. When you take a close look at the menu and the options, what are you going to get? It's very simple. You can listen to some music, watch a low resolution video, and make some awful, you know, let's say pretty movies, videos, whatever. It's just the camera is a freaking horrible. But what you can see over here, we're having a browser function, nothing to do with the internet. I'm just going to show you, you can browse in the files itself. It's always very confusing. And did see some people were asking. The thumbnails with the games. And yeah, if the games are on it, there's always the question, if this link goes dead, there is no way removing it or replacing it so far. I know, so what you see, what you're going to get. The device cell supports, let's say, more like the 8-bit up to PlayStation 1. But how does PlayStation 1 run? Mm, that's what we're going to find out. I can tell you that the sound is way better than the previous models. When you're pressing the escape button over here, you're going to get the menu where you can some, have some things changed out. I'll give you a quick example. When you go into settings, green settings, if you're going to put it on the original size, I just wanted to show you. Keep in mind, you will change it for every single emulator. It's pretty damn annoying. Return to the game. 
you see we're going to get this very tiny very tiny display what you can do is go back let's go back to the settings screen size what can help is scale go back to the game and as you can see now it looks exactly like the original Game Boy size or 4x3 aspect ratio if you don't like the stretch but uh, keep in mind it doesn't work for every single system some get a lot of weird results but it is an option yeah the analog stick is what you can expect from a very cheap stick I was already my stick was sticking oh and I killed myself with the sticky stick yeah great I don't know what I'm hearing but it sounds really awful The soundtrack are not like the original game. The effects are working, there is no delay whatsoever. The input feels not bad. Oh crap, just missed him. Hmm. All right, well the problems with the previous X series games were that we couldn't play the games because we didn't have a job button. And there were several reasons because they didn't map it at all. But you can see they mapped it on the shoulder button. It's not a big of a deal because we can change it out if we want to. Pressing escape again, going to the settings, keyboard mapping. And this is a fun fact that with the previous version we didn't have the C button for example so they fixed the problem with the controls of the Mega Drive so I'm very pleased to see the emulation itself is not good ah oh, damn it there goes my beefcake, beefcake mode but nevertheless you're getting the point original aspect ratio you can put it full screen if I want to Two against one. Really? Really? I'm just going to kick you in the balls. Wolfie. Beef kick. Boot. Oh yeah. Kick him in the balls because I am a beef kick man. Wow, that was really shitty. And there is a big difference in sound. But you can hear with the Super NES, the music is not like it should be. Now it's playable, at least. And for me this is always the ultimate test, if you're going to try out a three-dimensional game. And this game doesn't even run. Don't even bother looking further than this. It's a shame, two dimensional. It's playable, but you need it just glitching out big time. PlayStation 1 is just a no go, in my opinion. Oh, hey, I was sick. The other, the other, the other thing is with, with Game Boy Advance, it, 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 it has no problem whatsoever. Kind of weird, but okay. If you listen closely, you can hear. You can hear sometimes a minor frame dip, but in general, it runs pretty smooth for a cheap device like this. So, yeah. So, when you take a close look at playing on the television, it does work. Old school analog. So if you're having a CRT, it will look a little bit better than an LCD. But in general, the signal itself is not the best. So this is what you're going to get. So there you have it guys. The X18, the Plus Edition. It's the same software all over again. They did some minor improvements, so finally we can play some Sega Mega Drive. We have dual speakers now. But in the end, it's still the shitty D-pad with the shitty joysticks. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. 
consider subscribing, hit that bell, and I will see you in the next video.